Braves hosting the Mariners. The Mariners are plus 118 on the money line. The Braves are minus 140 over under eight and a half runs. The Mariners getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 143, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Neither Miller or Edler pitched against the opposing team last year. The Mariners are 3-0 as a team with... Miller starting the game. He's averaging six and a third innings pitched and six strikeouts per game in those games. The Braves are six and two with Elder on the mound. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 4.9 strikeouts per game in those games. Head to head, the home team is five and five. The Mariners have won the last two games they played against the Braves. The Mariners are eight and two against the Braves in their last 10 meetings. The underdog is seven and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line, eight and two. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other. The over is 6-3-1, and, and the over 8.5 runs specifically is 6-4. The last series that they played against each other was last year. It was in Seattle. The Braves took the first game 6-4. The Mariners took the next two 3-1 and 8-7. And their last handful of games overall, the Mariners are 1-3 and three in their last four, and they are 5-5 five and five in their last ten. 8 runs, 11 runs, 13 runs, and 15 runs. 3 runs and a loss, 10 runs and a win, 4 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss. The Mariners have lost their last 2 games. The Braves are 2-2 two and two in their last 4 and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 11 runs, 12 runs, 11 runs, and 11 runs. 5 runs in a loss, 12 runs in a win, 4 runs in a loss, 6 runs in a win. Seemingly, the Mariners own the Braves, so I'm just going to roll with that stat and see if it holds true. I'm going to take Seattle with the money line. I'm going to take Seattle getting the runs, and I'm going to go over, even though both of these pitchers' ERAs are low. Seemingly, when they play each other, they do score more than eight and a half runs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.